Hello everyone, it's Robin Moser here with the Tipsy Realtor and today I am running this show solo because Anna's out working hard and I wanted to let you guys all know that today what we're talking about is Trouble in Paradise and we're going to teach, or the Cocktails Trouble in Paradise and we're going to talk about what happens when one person in an ownership wants to sell a home and one person doesn't. Now the reason that we've actually brought this up is because as much as February is a month of love. Sometimes there is things that happen in partnerships, relationships, and marriages that unfortunately end them. And this is also a really big time of year for that. So I'm, that's really sad, but we want to help guide you through it to make it as least painful as possible. So we're going to start with the cocktail called Trouble in Paradise. Now, since I'm running this all on my own, I'm going to have you bear with me because I'm running the camera, the whatever tech stuff at the same time. So we're starting with a cocktail shaker full of ice. And as you can see our ingredients on here is we wanna throw in just a teaspoon of honey, two teaspoons, sorry, two tablespoons of honey. They say a spoonful of honey makes the medicine go down. So two tablespoons of honey into the jar or into the shaker. And then we're gonna throw in one ounce of Campari and one ounce of bourbon. So we're using Buffalo Trace today for the bourbon. My hands are all sticky from the honey. And one ounce of Campari. Now after throwing those two ingredients in, we're gonna throw in a half ounce of simple syrup. And we're gonna throw in three quarter of an ounce of grapefruit juice. And three quarter of an ounce of lemon juice. So we're just using a lemon squeezer to get our lemon juice out. So three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice. There we go. And then we're gonna take some fresh basil. And it's actually quite interesting that this one uses fresh basil. You're gonna use the fresh basil to garnish it, as well as to put for a bit of a taste into it. So we're taking some sprigs of fresh basil into the glass, and we are going to put the lid on, and we're gonna shake it until it is well chilled. So we don't have Annie here to entertain you while I take them. So unfortunately, it's that you. And we are going to take it, make it nice and chill. Oh, actually, I did forget one thing. My apologies. I was supposed to do two shakes of ground pepper, which is why this one's going to be so interesting because of the fact it has pepper, it has basil, it has breakfast food, it has all that kind of stuff, which makes it a really interesting drink. So now we have finished shaking, we have finished peppering, we have ground, we have done everything it's asked us to do, and we're going to pour it into our cup. Trouble in paradise. And we're going to garnish it off with a bit of fresh basil. So you just stick the fresh basil in the glass. And there you go. Trouble in paradise. Let's hope it tastes better than the ingredients together unique and look. So here we go. It's actually pretty good. I was actually surprised you with pepper, with bourbon, with Campari, with grapefruit juice, all that kind of stuff. I was a little concerned, but it actually does taste pretty good. I would say that this is an after, you know, kind of a pre-dinner drink or an after-dinner drink. I don't know that I would drink too many of them, but just like one, it's a nice kind of freshing drink, something different. Very nice. Trouble in paradise. There you go. That would be a funny one to serve on Valentine's Day. Mm. All right. So here we are talking about what happens when one of you wants to sell a house and the other doesn't. And believe it or not, this comes up more than you would realize when it comes to our profession. Lots of times we'll get called in when one partner is trying to assess value and the other partner isn't aware that they're going to be looking at selling the home. And that happens all the time. Now, obviously, we're very discreet in those kind of moments when people let us know that that's what's happening. 
but it does happen. Now, the first thing I always tell people is, what does your title ownership say? And I know it sounds very technical, but it matters. And that is, of course, are you joint tenancy or are you tenancy in common? Joint tenancy means that you both have to agree or all parties on title have to agree under joint tenancy. But if you're tenancy in common, then that one party can actually sell their shares off to someone else if that's something that they're interested in and they don't need the other party's permission. So that's always about how a title is structured. The most common way a title is structured is with joint tenancy. Now, of course, the thing we're always going to tell you to do is, of course, talk to a lawyer. Get a lawyer engaged as soon as possible. It's one of the best things that you can do because, of course, talking to a lawyer, they're going to advise you what to do, how to help. This is a legal matter when you're looking at selling a home and you're both not in agreement that you want to sell. You can a lot of times get advice from a lawyer without having to pay a retainer or anything like that. Just explain to them, unless you're wanting them to go in deep, deep detail, and then you're going to have to start putting down retainers. You also want to find out the current value of the home from either a licensed real estate agent or an appraiser. What you don't want to do is you do not want to take the value on your tax assessment. Those are rarely the accurate current values of your home. So call someone like myself or Anna and we can come by. We can tell you what the home is worth based on comparable sales. We can also put it in writing and or you can call an appraiser for usually I think they're about $400 and you can have an appraiser come through and they can give you a written evaluation of the value of the property. Now keep in mind when you do the appraisal, depending on what happens, if it does have to go to court and so on and so forth and how long it takes for you to tell the other party that you want to sell, you may have to redo the evaluation or the appraisal of the home depending on that. Again, talk to a lawyer. Now, the other thing you want to do is find out, can you qualify to own the home on your own? Because I know there's lots of people that have great aspirations to buy their other partner out or the other partner wants to buy you out. And the biggest thing is, can they qualify? And that's always the hardest part is getting them in to make sure you getting in and making sure you can qualify. Because what's great about it is if one can qualify to buy the other out, then you can actually be in a position where hopefully maybe they can assume the mortgage and you can avoid a payout penalty. Because if you're paying out your mortgage before the end of its term, you may suffer a payout penalty. And depending on your interest rate and when you got your mortgage, it could be pretty substantial. So if one can assume the mortgage, great. If they can't assume the mortgage and you have to have the house forced into a sale, then there may be the possibility of assuming the mortgage and porting it, which is another idea. So there's lots of different ways that you can go about it to save yourself money, to go uh, get the other, find ways to buy the other person out. So if you want to talk about avoiding a payout penalty, certainly every situation is different. And we're going to want you to have a conversation with us and sit down in your scenario. And let's talk about ways to avoid that payout penalty. You can also talk to your bank about ways to avoid the payout penalty. And sometimes if you can avoid it, it's about minimizing it. And there are ways to minimize it as well. Like if most mortgages will have a prepayment privilege that you can pay 15% down and then pay off the mortgage. And if you can do that prepayment of 15% down, you are gonna save some of your payout penalty. Now, the other thing is if you're looking at buying out your partner, whether you were the one that was just told that the house is going up for sale or you're the one that is choosing to want to sell the house and you haven't told your partner yet, you may want to look at getting a co-signer. Maybe a co-signer can come along and help you qualify for the mortgage or help them qualify for the mortgage so that one of you can keep the house if that's the choice is to buy each other out. And of course, negotiating the buyout. I'm always of the opinion that it should be bought out at fair market value. I've heard from other situations that real estate fees and commissions are not taken into account. So you don't get to discount those from the price. The value is the value. But again, if you really want legal advice, talk to a lawyer. So the other thing is if you can't negotiate a buyout, if you guys can't agree on selling the home, and if the one party is adamant they won't buy you out and they won't let you sell the home, then unfortunately the other option is to get a lawyer and go to court 
and force the sale through the courts. And a judge can tell the other party that they have to sell the home and a court order to sell the home. Unfortunately, that is a little bit more cumbersome. It takes a little bit more work. There is a process to do, but that is another way that you can force the sale is through a court order. And even I've seen them as, as clear as that the sale is forced and the person has to agree within a certain percentage of the asking price. Now, of course, be sure that when you do that, when you're taking one party's name off the mortgage and off title, that you do both, the mortgage and the title. You want to make sure that both of you are free and clear to pursue whatever new horizons you have. And then you want to also talk to your lawyer. If you are in a legal marriage, confirm if dower applies or not. So make sure that all your bases are covered. So really, at the end of the day, what you're hearing is talk to a lawyer. There's a lot of great lawyers out there. Of course, we can always refer you many that you can chit chat with that can really advise you the best course of action when you're in these kind of unfortunate circumstances. So to go on to a more happier subject, we are going to talk about prizes. So because it is the month of love, we are giving away this. And it is Reconnecting for Couples board game. And it's actually a really cool board game about how to have deeper conversations, conversations and thoughtful activities. And it really goes along with the whole Valentine's Day and stuff like this. And it has, it was designed by psychologists. It's research based. It is 15 important areas of life. And it's super easy to play. And honestly, if you've got a partner, it's a fun way to kind of engage in an evening and maybe have those conversations or do things that you don't normally do. So this is what we're giving away. You can enter to win it if you like and share the show on Facebook, on Instagram, on YouTube, on any one of our social media platforms. And you do that in your name in the month of February enters to win this. So when it gets chilly and boring in the month of March, you have lots of fun stuff to do. So Thank you so much for enjoying our show. Thank you for liking and sharing us on all social medias. And of course, if you are looking at buying or selling real estate, please feel free to give myself or Anna Terranova a call. And next week, we are going to be having a great conversation about renovating or selling. And we're going to be showing you how to make an amazing cocktail called the Bourbon Renewal. So... Myself and Anna Terranova are here to help you with all of your real estate needs. Feel free to contact us at the number on the screen or email us on our website and we'd love to help you out. Thank you so much for joining us and I hope you have a fantastic day. It looks utterly beautiful out there. Thanks so much guys. Bye-bye.